Now, the weather service is warning of yellow level two severe thunderstorms later this evening. Heavy rains are expected to hit parts of Gauteng, Mpumalanga and Limpopo. The service is warning of localized flooding in low-lying areas. To tell us more, I'm joined by forecaster Leslokonolo Tobela. Leslokonolo, good morning. Thank you for your time this morning. As South Africans, given the recent natural disasters we've seen, for instance, in the Western Cape, when we hear warnings like these, we panic. Should we be panicking this morning? Good morning and thanks for having me. No, yes, um, with the severe thunderstorm warning issued for today, we're expecting much more of the showers and rain to start by the evening. So any time from half past five up until 8 p.m., that's when we can expect much more of the rain, especially over the central and the eastern parts of the northwest province, as well as some areas over the eastern parts of the Free State province, the whole of Gauteng, as well as the Highfield and the central parts of Mpumalanga. Yes, you can expect some heavy rain in the evening. With that, then you can expect flooding especially over areas which are low-lying and some areas of which are prone to flooding which are in the hot thing i mean in the eastern end you know that when we have such severe thunderstorms would have much more of the rain which then would result in some floods in some areas especially in the informal settlements and some areas where we have a lot of runoff due to this heavy rain that comes in instant coming with the thunderstorm at this moment, though, Letla Honolo, it's not posing any threats. Um, uh, residents do not need to be worried that they need to move to higher areas, for instance. I mean, we have a high likelihood of it happening, but the impacts are minor. Where well, minor would mean then we'd have flooded roads, we'd then people on the roads should be cautious of how they're driving, as well as not only limited to rain, we also have some damaging winds, especially over the drier areas where the, e the eastern parts of the northwest province, which would result in some damage in infrastructure and a possibility of small amounts of hail in some areas where it's more convective. Let Lechonolo, with climate change, it's been warned that we as South Africans should be expecting more of these kind of weather conditions. Do you share that opinion? I mean, we'd have, we are currently in an El Nino state, which then brings about much more of extreme weather over the areas over the central and the eastern parts, especially over summer. However, with the seasonal forecast suggesting below normal rainfall over the central parts for November, December and January, we can still expect much more of the extreme weather with the El Nino conditions as we are currently in a state that is yet to produce much more of extreme weather. It's not only limited to the central and the eastern parts, but further also north, reaching areas over Limpopo. With these recent uh, warnings that has just been issued, until when, just remind us, is this weather um, um, expected to last? Well, the current warning is for today. But we are here to experience much more of thunderstorms. And for every time we have thunderstorms, we are here to issue warnings which would prolong and so that we are depending on the time and the day. But since we are in summer, we are here to experience much more of some severe weather. For some reason, Letlo Honolo, we see that when these conditions um, are taking place, um, we want to go and see what's happening, where the flooding is. And I always ask this question, what's your advice uh, to our viewers if you're experiencing flooding in your area or heavy rainfalls, both to motorists and residents, what's your advice to them? I mean, if you're a person and you know the thunderstorms, thunderstorms come with lightning. And with the lightning, we always advise that you stay put, you stay at home. Um, by all means, avoid going chasing storms because with that, then brings a lot of danger, not only to the infrastructure, but also to your life because you know what lightning can do to a person. Also, in rivers, people seem to try... Um, drive over rivers where you see the water and then they take for granted that it might not wash them away so i'd say that's one thing that people should stop doing and pass all the things you should just keep at home and if you're driving keep a minimal distance and make sure not to speed over the limits because with wet roads you can expect uh, slippery roads where you might cause a lot of accidents so i think the main thing to do is to be aware and be cautious there we have it, crucial information there uh, from the South African Weather Service uh, forecast. Just be reminded that uh, there is a warning yellow level 2 of severe thunderstorms. As he said, that is for later this evening. Heavy rains are, of course, as we said, expected in Gauteng, Mpumalanga and Limpopo. And do take care.